everybody I just wanted to do a quick uh, uh, video tutorial for fire alpaca once again I did an intro video uh, here a while back I haven't done uh, much since then but I wanted to show you uh, some new features and uh, the latest version is 1.0.45 <clears throat> And in the uh, splash screen, you can see here uh, that it says that centimeter and inch are available when setting height and width at the creating of a new document. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, close that up and go to File and New. And uh, you can see that uh, over here in the, uh, the measurements thing here uh, that uh, centimeters and inches are available now okay uh, so I'm gonna leave everything the same there um, now before uh, just before this version was released uh, in the last version I don't remember what number it was I'm gonna show you uh, something that was was added that I really like. Uh, let's just do this here. Let's see. Make a bigger brush. There we go. Well, let's not do that. Let's just grab uh, this texture brush. Also, uh, I will uh, include a, a link in the description that tells how to install and get some new. Uh, brushes. I'm not going to do a video on installing the um, brushes or creating your own. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the subject here. Uh, one of the newer, uh, the new feature before this version was having to do with the transform tool. So I'm just going to marquee select around this here this and I'm gonna hit uh, control T on my keyboard as you can see we have rotate and scale and so on and so forth the other new feature that was added uh, was if you hold your control key you can uh, free transform in other words uh, kind of a perspective transform which is really handy uh, let's cancel that and I'm gonna control D I'm gonna control a control X to clear that control D to deselect and I'm just gonna I don't know sketch a just kinda do a Let's use a different brush. Where is it at? Where's uh, my favorite brush? Is this texture brush here, and I like to use it at about I don't know a small small size, probably about 18 or so. That'll work. And just kind of draw out an oval here. And let's say I wanted uh, this this shape this to be a different shape so I could just control T and if I, I wanted it to be more of an oval shape let's say for figure drawing to draw a head I could just hold my control button and kind of widen it at the top and then kinda make it smaller at the bottom uh, now it looks like a uh, kind of a guitar pick or something anyway then after you do that you can say OK down at the bottom and deselect and that's kind of what that does uh, it's a very handy feature so uh, the next one I wanted to to show you so I'm gonna grab a charcoal brush again and uh, just scribble something on here and also, <clears throat> you may be aware that the uh, you have the eraser tool here, 
and it's very easy to use. But if you're using the, the pen tool and you want to uh, quickly switch to the eraser, you can just hold uh, uh, the Z key down and it uh, very quickly and easily uh, allows you to switch to the eraser tool and you just let go and you're right back to your brush again. So Z uh, to erase without actually switching switching your brush and it uh, when you use the Z key it's kind of a, a soft eraser. Now if I change to if I hit my E key and switch to uh, the eraser tool up here it's more of a, a hard eraser but if I'm using uh, the Z key it's a very soft eraser which is really nice um, let's see while well, I've got uh, this brush selected uh, remember that I'm gonna put a link in the description showing you how to uh, load your own brushes and then you can google how to create your own brushes I'm really gonna kinda try to keep this short but uh, one of the other features that was added uh, in the last probably before the transform um, tool feature was uh, the scatter brush so now if I have a uh, brush selected and I just double click on it it brings up Let's see where'd it go. There it is. Brings up this uh, edit brush menu, and under the type, you can switch to scatter brush, and then you have some options here for scatter strength, particle size, and uh, it's uh, really nice. Uh, see how that that changes that so anyway let's uh, bring that back up uh, change the uh, scatter strength a little bit more maybe increase the particle size give us a little bit different look again um, so that's kind of nice good feature to have so anyway that's uh, let's see I think that's that's about it for this uh, quick little tutorial um, remember uh, what we did is we discussed uh, going over the Z key uh, when whatever brush you're using if you hold down the Z key it will turn that brush into an eraser you let it go with the Z key it um, turns back to the brush um, remember the newest feature was the document size where you can uh, make your document centimeters or inches uh, and then we talked about the transform tool and hold in your control key uh, which allows you to kind of um, do a perspective transform or a free transform which is really super handy anyway also I need to uh, let you know that this will probably be my last fire alpaca tutorial uh, I just ordered Manga Studio 5. I'm really looking forward to get it, getting it. Um, uh, I have been using Krita some, but uh, oh, you, most of the time for sketching, I, I have been using Fire Alpaca. I really like Fire Alpaca. It's a great low on uh, system resources and. and uh, it's a nice little application. I will be, even though I'm switching to Manga Studio, I will be keeping an eye on Fire Alpaca and their newer features. And I uh, don't know if I'll do any more videos on it. But anyway, that's about it. I gotta run. Everybody have a great day.